bring the chest to life. Hi guys, Coach Ants here with another edition of Chess Battles. You know what it is, guys. It's quick fire. It's fast pace. We get straight to the action. No time to mess about. We're going to see what lessons we've got to learn today. Um, and today, it looks like we're going to have a Sicilian defense. So let's see what tricks may be in store from my opponents. Okay, so... Yeah, we're developing our pieces as you guys know already. I think we're gonna I'm gonna go for this entire exchange here and then maybe use use my knight. They most probably pin me. Yes, because they want to show off showing that I cannot capture the knight because my king will be in danger. So um no problem. So what we're gonna do is castle our king and then renew the threat, but they might chop me before. So we castle the king. I can pre-move this because if they don't sort that out, then that's bye bye queenie. Okay. I don't really believe in what they're doing here. So I'm going to put my bishop here. So, and now we can force this away, can't we? So they must really have to take. That's right. Now our bishop's in a great place. Now, how can we use that to advantage? Well, not greatly at the moment. This bishop needs to, needs to get to a place where it can... Oh, well, we can definitely put a rook opposite their queen. That's That can't be bad. And then we just need to reorganize these pieces somehow. So this bishop looks like it belongs here. And then we're going to try and drag it back and then get our queen working. Some of the typical type of ideas. Drag it back. Make room for our queen. Trying to go after the h7 square for a nice mate. But which square is best to go on? I think I should leave it here. I believe. And then the idea is to swing the knight in here. Try to kick this, this horsey out the way. That's the idea. If the knight takes us back, our minion takes back, kicks the horsey out the way, and then all of a sudden, boom! That would be so spectacular. Hmm. That would be great. But my is my opponent stopped me? Not really. So I can I do this move? Yeah, I think I can still play this move. Obviously, there's a minion that we're, we're looking at. They must probably retreat their bishop to try and protect themselves. They didn't. Isn't that a chickatee? And that's a forkarooski. Yes, old twinkle toes. Twinkle toes at his finest. Now, I just really need to get rid of this knight here. So, let's go for an exchange. When you're winning and your power piece up... Well, we're not a power piece up. But what we are is an, an exchange up. So, therefore, we've ha we've got a rook for a um, bishop. And we know that our rooks are stronger. So, if I can get rid of the one remaining rook, that means now we've got control of the open file. At the moment, we can't really enter. Even though you've got an open file, it's whether you can enter or not. So what are they up to? Well, they want to, well, quite simply just get in. Should I let them get in? Well, not really. So let's have a, a minion march. And now they've stopped this whole idea. So my queen's no longer good on this square. So why don't we, what can we do here? Well, our bishop's no longer good on that diagonal. So why don't we just switch the diagonal that it's on? where it's got a lot more influence in the game. Um, where else could I go? Um, I've got to be Okay, so you want to come here with your knight and then try a little checkmate. So let's just shut that down for now while I work out what my opponent's trying to do. Also give myself an escape square. And then I really, with the pieces I've got, which is basically a rook, some heavy pieces, a queen and two bishops. Yeah, they're, they're very good, very good pieces. Um, I definitely want to be able to get inside the position, but these knights are very good defenders. Knights are good defenders. And one being on a light square, one being a dark square, they cover quite a few squares. So um, this is a good defensive structure at the minute for my opponent. Hmm. Now, I need to find some way to worm my way in. 
Wiggle. I need some wiggle room. What? They ran away? No way. Come on. I mean, this is not that terrible. They can still play this position. Oh dear. Anyway, as we said, who really cares? At the end of the day, we get... Indeed. Let's claim victory. Crash them, crash them, crash them. Yes. All right. Well, guys, in that particular match, I mean, to be honest, my opponent, it's not that, it's not that terrible for my opponent. They could definitely play on. Yes, I've got, you know, I've won an exchange, but it's not easy for me to enter the position because even though you, I might have a rook on an open file, where does it really enter? Well, it can go up to here at the most, but obviously we might not want to do that. It can enter on C5, and that's about it. That's as far up the board as it's really going to get. So it's not going to influence things at the moment. It's still difficult for me to create a way in. Um, and I still haven't actually come up with a plan to get in yet. Um, yeah. It's, there's still a lot of game to play. Uh, there's, there's a lot of play left. But um, anyway, that's what my opponent chose. So as we said, we're going to keep these chess battles short, sharp and sweet, hoping that there are various lessons to learn within this one. Um, in this particular game, I don't believe there was anything too untoward. The one definite tactic which we're, we definitely have to um, recognise was old Twinkle Toes. Where are you, Twinkle Toes? Uh, where have you gone? Can I find you? Yes, I can. Twinkle Toes. <laughs> yes. Twinkle Toes is very useful. So what happened was we were able to finally, as we said, when we get knights in the middle of the board where there's no minion that can kick them out. See, there's no minion sitting on this square that can go here and boot, you know, eject the knight, boot it out. Whenever knights get into the middle of the board, they're always looking for forks. So as soon as you get a knight in the middle of the board, you should be looking for forks. And unfortunately, my opponent missed this fork, which just turned the game into my favour. So that's definitely something to learn. Knights want to get into your opponent's half of the board so that they can upgrade into a nightmare, quite simply. Okay, guys, take care. Hope you have learn something and i'll see you on the next episode of chess battles all right guys take care bye enemy bring chess to life